This video will serve as an introduction to the 420A dual chamber wire myograph system. We're going to look at the interface, the chamber, and the accessories that come with the system. This was one of the earliest myographs released by DMT in the early 1980s, and it has been updated and reintroduced. The small footprint and efficiency make for an excellent side-by-side -side study device. The durability of the build and materials allow for heavy use and reproducible experiments. We'll begin with the interface, and when looking at the main screen of the interface, you will see the force reading from each chamber, the probe temperature reading, as well as the pH reading if the probe is equipped. You will also use the touchscreen to zero the force reading from your transducers, turn on heat in the chamber, as well as perform the force calibration procedure, as well as other functions that are housed in the interface. When making your selections on the touchscreen, just use your fingers and not pens or other lab tools. Also, the screen is liquid resistant, but if you do spill any water or buffer, just make sure to clean that up as promptly as possible. When looking at the chamber itself, you will notice that the chamber is connected to the interface through the myograph cable. So to orient yourself with the near and the far force readings, the near reading is taken from the force transducer on the side that's closest to you, and the far reading is taken from the chamber that's closest to the myograph cable. Each side will have a positioner side and a force transducer side. The positioner side is connected to a micrometer that allows you to smoothly move the mount back and forth, while the force transducer side is stationary and collects the forces generated from your tissue. The two chambers are separated from each other with a chamber divider, although this can be removed to allow the two sections into one bath. Each side also has four positioning screws that allows you to accurately align the two jaw mounts. The back of the interface has all the connections to fully utilize the system. You have a power supply and a power switch. You have a connection for the myograph cable, four BNC outputs to collect the raw data from the myograph. You also have a USB connection, which will allow you to bypass the BNCs in the analog to digital converter and go straight to your data acquisition. This is the connection for the optional pH probe. And lastly, there is a ground connection to eliminate any electrical noise. The accessories that come with your system include the myograph cable, which will connect the interface in the chamber, as well as the connected temperature probe, a power supply, a calibration kit to maintain the accuracy of the force transducer, a chamber cover with connections for gas bubbling and bath removal, in addition to ports for temperature probe and replacing the bath, 40 micron wire for mounting on the jaws, two kinds of grease for maintaining either the linear slide or protecting the force transducer, extra screws and screwdrivers, Allen keys for aligning or working with the chamber, funnels to help with refilling the chambers, a ball end screwdriver, and lastly, a USB stick with software license information and a user guide and user manual. For more information, please refer to the 420A user manual or additional resource videos found on the DMT website.